Jailhouse Judgment. Okay, Rock, login in, login. Let me see if I can get this placement right. Oh, I'm too far. I feel it. I feel it. <clears throat> Mother fuck! What happened here? Excuse me, sir. Who the sir? fuck is that? You two gentlemen smell like shit. The world? I'm gonna do my very best not to base our relationship on this first impression. But first impressions count for a lot. So if I meet a couple of men who not only neglect the common decency to introduce themselves, but simply walk up to me smelling as shit, well, it's gonna take an effort for me to get to know them. I'm sorry, sir. We just came from the swamp. I'm Agent G, AMS. You're Warden Darling, right? That's entirely accurate, Detective Washington. You see, I'm not the only individual whose reputation precedes them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to piss. My dick's on fire. I've been on the road for at least three quarters of an hour with a bladder full of steaming hot piss, slashing left and right with every turn of the road in a way that a bladder full of steaming piss tends to. Fuck this guy. Do excuse me. Um... Uh... Do you have any idea what happened here, sir? Ah, oh, shit. There you go, distracting me. Now I got it all down my left leg. I'm gonna look like I pissed myself. Imagine if I have to meet anybody besides yourselves <laughs> today. They'd be inclined to think I was the sort of man who oh pisses himself. Now that'd be a poor first impression, indeed. We ain't got time for this shit. With all due respect, what the fuck's happened here? Is it the mutants? Mutants, you say? Can't say I have any idea what you're talking about, detective. I got a call in the middle of the night. I got told there was trouble at my prison. I came down, and here I am. That's the math of the situation right there. We're looking for someone, for a couple of people. A man and a woman? He just got there. Riding a motorcycle. Oh. How the fuck do you know that? Well, there's a motorcycle dumped right over there. Oh. Looks like you gentlemen have your own affairs to deal with. I'll be heading inside to see what's what. If I see your friends, I'll be sure to let... They're not our fucking friends. A at least... Look, if you see them, don't let them go. I'll be sure to do that. Oh, we appreciate any assistance you he can just... offer us, sir. Call me Clement. You coming, motherfucker? I mean, that was courteous nice of him. Boys. He just touched his dick, so you know. It's not gonna just handshake. Why'd they introduce that character? Maybe we should wait for backup. Or maybe you should grow some balls. <laughs> All right, here we go. Starve. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they got shields and shit. How'd I kill them through the shield? I like it when it's uh, related to cool, 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 can. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. That's pretty good. Hmm. I wonder if I would have got more points typing out all the shit. Uh, prison levels are okay. They're not as interesting as stuff outside, though. Especially if they're just normal prisons, like there's nothing supernatural or special about them. Focus here so I don't get fucking hit for a lot. 
What am I gonna pick up? A hammer? Light stick? There. Yeah. Okay. There's um Looks like he bit off more than he could chew. Now I can't think of the name. Is this game that was like to be a competitor for Max Payne on like the Xbox. Dead to rights. They ain't paid me enough to deal with this. That's what it was called. They made a second one and you're a cop and you're like dealing with corruption and shit. You know, typical stuff. And I remember the, man, the fucking prison levels were fucking terrible. It took your guns away from you and you had to do melee combat. Which was really annoying. Because you'd fight like 20 guys at a time, so you'd have to run around this small prison room thing. How many of these and deal with these guys. There? And that was like the only part of the whole game where you really needed to use... Oh shit. Oh. I hit uh, escape because I thought th that's that's type fighters. That's type fighters. <laughs> it's the only part of that game where you don't really have a gun or like your dog. So you have an attack dog. He's pretty cool. I think his name is Shadow, but he was like a husky. Oh god. Is that supposed to represent like the border that law enforcement has to go on to protect the peace. Fuck like that. They made a sequel that I never played, but then they did a reboot on the next gen consoles after that. So I guess second gen Xbox? If we just take it generally from the 2000s to the 360 than to the one now. Let's go with that. that G Just so you understand genocide, what I'm talking about. Damn, girl, where'd your shirt go? Pretty sure they don't do conjugal visits to sleep. Never thought I'd be happy to see a fucking cop. Most cops don't have this um, charming personality. Don't make me whoop your ass again, G-Man. Ugh. They they did a reboot where they made him like this fucking huge ass bodybuilder boxer guy. And that aside. I get it, you want to make him look tough and shit, but it was... It was kind of unnecessary. He kind of lost his, like, everyday man appeal. Like, he should have been, like, an athlete. Not a cop. So they did... I guess that prison level, or maybe something that happened in 2, was the... Maybe the inspiration to do like fighting input combos, like uh, in Tekken, right? Like you do Quaron, right? You do just a bunch of axes and you do a bunch of kicks. So they put that in a third person shooter game, which was kind of cool. Like they did a lot of decent things in that game. But I, I don't think it was very popular. There's a lot of... I don't know. I don't know what the gender... or the sex... makeup is at a... prison like this. Um, another thing is, so, actually I thought, now thinking about it, since he was a cop, this is kind of weird. 
you could take someone hostage? Like a bad guy and use him as a shield? Which is weird, right? Like, you're supposed to save people, so why would you have that ability? But I don't know. I guess that was the, the line you crossed. You gonna tell me what the G stands for yet? What the? Varla! And Papa fucking Caesar? We've got to find a way down there. No shit! He's just chasing her? Ugh. Is it just one? Ugh. Oh, now there's a hammer. So let me, let me finish with the taking hostage thing. So imagine the roadie run from uh, Gears of War. And, you know, just using someone as a shield. You can combine those two things in that game. So, like, you could be running at, like, 25 miles per hour with a guy just as a shield. And you can still shoot. And I'm like, why is this in this game? It's so weird. And you wouldn't get, like, fine movement controls, it was like more of the... Like like in the rotor run, like you'd only go left or right. You couldn't really turn well. Which made sense. They had to balance it somehow, because that thing was broken. It was so good. That is a huge locker. And in the original House of the Dead, they always had hatchets, Did which you made sense. See a freak ass pimp with a hot bitch at gunpoint? Sure, they came through here just now. Some weird shit going down tonight, man. He doesn't even have a gun. I don't know, maybe these hatchets are a lot more. Common than I think. I never beat that um, reboot for Dead to Rights, but it was okay. It was like a weird experimental game because there was just a bunch of things that didn't seem to fit. Get back in the kitchen, bitch! Like that human shield thing, and then the fighting combos, which, which is cool. Oh fuck, fuck. Gets us. What's on the menu? Don't ask. Because I like fighting games, but I was always very bad at always, like, mixing up my attacks. So I'd get really predictable. But, like, in shooting games, it's always about efficiency. So, like, combining those is two things is really cool. That? That's why I like Shadow Warrior. Really excited for, um, the second one on that one. Kind of. The, 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 um, I was going to do a comparison video. Which I'm not sure if I will still do, but I'll just talk about some stuff I was going to put in it. You can do, um, air dashes now. In the first one, you couldn't. You could only do, um, dashes on the ground, which kind of sucks. But there wasn't a lot of verticality, so that made sense, but... Well, if there's an air dash, I'm going to use a jump with it. Just to, you know, get over obstacles, really. So they put a lot of debris on the levels. So I'm gonna go around them. It sucks. Score one for the motherfucking cavalry. Now let's move. And they, they're boasting a lot of bladed weapons, but they show in some preview stuff from PAX. I think Angry Joe, Angry Joe did one with the devs. If you want to watch that. I 
And like he um Wang had two uh Man, kinda like katanas or whatever. Need to chill the fuck out. Maybe they're Wakazashi, I don't know. But it looked like he was doing the same moves with that as like fucking Vega Claws. Which kinda sucks. But I don't know how the stats or the damage works in that game. There's life bars in that game. Which is totally different. And there's elemental damage, like they had a, a 40 millimeter like revolver grenade launcher. And it shot out like thunder rounds? No, lightning rounds, sorry. Is that the boss? Or is it a mid chapter cutscene? Ugh. What the mother fuck? Jesus. Boys, boys, don't be so melodramatic. Put those guns away, take a seat, enjoy the show. Sir, what's going on here? You're behind. That's right. I'm behind the whole thing. Me, I'm responsible for. <laughs> don't interrupt me. Detective, I have quite a lot to get through. You murdering psycho! You're responsible for all of this? For all those dead freaks? Early. Well, I didn't kill your dad, Washington. Perhaps my esteemed colleague here has something to comment on that one. Clement, Clement, what the fuck are you doing? This wasn't part of our deal. I got the compound refined for you. I... Shut the fuck up. In fact, shut up permanently. No! Also, this double electrical oh, chair. Shit! It's pretty crazy. You were to do that, right? To get revenge? Fuck this guy. Mm, maybe he's good for sloppy seconds. Ouch. Fuck. No, I think he's a goner. You sick. Bastard! Look, what do you want with Varla? She's not part of this. Let her go. You're actually quite wrong, whoever the fuck you are. I'm Agent G. G? What the fuck does that stand for? I'm really? afraid that's... Don't care, right? I have someone to introduce you to. Very exciting. What the Will fuck? Will you two please sit down, okay? And be polite. She's a real stickler for manners. What the fuck? Also, Varla, your stomach is Meet clipping. Isaac Washington. He's a homicide detective. Very good at his job. Or a crunch or something. And this is his friend agent. I'm sorry. I didn't entirely catch your name. Clement! Where's my medicine, Clement? You don't need your medicine, mother. Remember what I told? Where's my fucking medicine, you fabulous peasant? Let me give you some context here, boys. I love my mother. I bet you boys love your mothers too and would do anything to keep them happy and healthy. Well, my mother is dying. Clement! Don't ignore me! And dying really quite rapidly. And unfortunately, there's only one way to fix that. See? The compound that's been turning my inmates and half this county into mindless mutants can be used to sustain life, in a manner of speaking. She's got small tits! What the fuck? Don't use the one with small tits, Clement! I forbid it! Calm down, mother. You're insane. I'm just a very loving son. Oh God! Oh, I'm, I'm going to fucking puke. Oops! Time for your treatment, mother. Wait! I'd rather not. Wait, if he puts I can't what? believe Caesar is finally fucking dead. Hey, snap out of it! We've got to find Varla. You who? That was a good. Hello. Boys, one last thing. 
If you'd be so kind as to look towards the stage, please. An executioner thing? Between them, 21 counts of armed murder, 17 oh. counts of aggravated assault, 12 counts of sexual assault, 3 bombings, and one instance of eating a little boy's puppy. We fried him in old Sparky about six months ago, and since then I've been tinkering with them on the weekends off. See, I fired a careful guys. This one seriously killed the other one? Nice uh, crotch kick there. Murder? The thing's already dead? Like, would he? I don't know. Brutus. Anyways, is he trying to put Var his mom in Farla's body? What the? That thing shoots electric. Heads up! The needle things? Harpoons? Quick! Shoot him! Oh shit. Wow. Numbers. There he goes. Hmm. Does he have a second phase or something? Cause this is way easy. I hate motherfucking mutants. I still got a lot of health. That was slow as fuck. Hmm. I guess a second one of those before I can actually kill him. Oh, God. That was one point. I wonder if it's an insta-kill right here. Let's grab that now. Then. More zombies? Mutants, sorry. What? Why did- why did- what? Why did that happen? Hmm. Maybe they only animated it for that corner. Remember the game saying I suck and I didn't kill him there. Come on! The platform came up? Time. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Our feature presentation, Jailhouse Judgment, will resume after these messages. Is there more? No? Yeah, I gotta be! I was about to say that there was uh, more to that? So we end this in the prison. Also, if he puts his mom in Varla's body, I enjoy pain. is it's that like still incest? Dinner, you know, with the sweet and the sour, expanding on that huh. analogy, 
I was smiling. I don't know. Oh man, mini guns. So hyped for that. Of course. Anyways, if you guys like this, give a like. If you guys are new, sub. Thanks for logging in. Good luck logging out.